Hey guys, Jim Stroud here, the Searchologist, and I am browsing, uh, browsing my new magazine. Yes, this is what you call shameless self-promotion. <laughs> there it is, the Searchologist, uh, issue number four, which is the automation issue. As you see, that's the that's the resume sourcing robot. That's what that is. Yep, and uh, <laughs> lots of goodness inside this magazine um, but there you go shameless self promotion go check it out uh, on the screen now you see some of the topics that we explore in the latest issue so please 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 go out and buy one uh, my creditors would appreciate your support <laughs> <laughs> um, well it's been a while since I've done uh, one of these uh, videos and I think I want to get back into the back into the, the swing of things with these videos and um, I'm going to start this one off by answering a question that someone posed to me, um, one of my subscribers actually pitched this to me, and I thought this was a pretty interesting question. Uh, they said, Jim, uh, there's so many search engines out there, uh, but I've been pretty much only focused on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. I said, okay, a lot of people do. I can understand that. He said, and, he's, and they asked me, is there a way to, to search for resumes more efficiently using uh, those search engines? And I said, you know what? That's a good question. And I think I had a good answer. Uh, find out what I said next hmm, on the Searchologist. Hello guys, what you see on the screen is the home page of Dogpile. You get there by going to dogpile.com. Dogpile is a meta search engine, which is uh, which means they are a search engine that searches other search engines. As you see here right underneath their search bar, they search Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask, which are the top four search engines on the market today. I believe the top four. Yes, yes, yes. Google is number one. Then Yahoo, then Bing, then Ask, or I think it's Google, Bing, then Yahoo, then Ask. I, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> it's not important. Those are the top four searches that are out there. And I want to show you guys how to uh, do a search for resumes on Dogpile. Let's do let's see, in title colon resume. I'm asking Dogpile to search for web documents that have the word resume in the title. Uh, let's say for this example, I'm looking for a software engineer. So I have the word software engineer uh, in uh, quotes there. I'm going to add the word education because most resumes have the word uh, education on them. Then I'm going to do, let's see, minus your, minus submit, and minus apply. I don't want those words to appear in, uh, the, descript in the results because typically those are on a job description. It will say, uh, please submit your resume or to apply for this job that kind of thing that's why uh, I have that there as minus your minus submit minus apply hopefully that makes sense okay so I'm gonna click the go fetch button like so and we will see that um, we have different search results here now the results that you have are a uh, combination of results from Google Yahoo Bing and ask now why do why do I say this ah, I'm, I'm speaking in tongues. Okay. <laughs> Maybe, where, where was I? Yes. Okay. So this has results from Google, Yahoo, and being an ass all mixed in together. Now, why this is an efficient way to search for resumes? Well, let me show you. Look here. Uh, you will see, like this guy here, Phil Bartholo, who's a software engineer. And it says here that this result is found exclusively on Google. And then uh, you see here that this result, Philip J. Phil Vaz, I think I'm pronouncing correctly, I don't know. Um, it says uh, that this is found exclusively, exclusively on Google. And if you scroll down some more, you'll see some are exclusive to Yahoo, some are exclusive to Google, some are like this person here. This resume is exclusive only to Bing. So uh, 
right there. I like this because I can do a search on Google, look through all those resumes, do a search on Yahoo, do a search on Bing, look through all those resumes. And, and, and a lot of times, not a lot of times, but several times I come across the same resumes. Well, if I go to Dogpile, I can search all three of those, or rather all four, Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask for resumes. And then I can also zero in on those resumes that have been indexed only by that particular search engine. That way I know I'm getting uh, more bang for my buck. Does that make sense? I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. Hi, this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. A few months ago, I made a small, simple tweak to my LinkedIn profile. And since that time, I've seen a large increase of traffic to my profile. Would you like to know what that small, simple tweak was? I customized my professional headline. Now, you may be wondering, what is a professional headline? Well, if you look at my profile here, direct, right directly below my name is the professional headline. And this typically defaults to your current job title. So whatever job title you have listed on your LinkedIn profile is typically what will show here in your professional headline. However, you can customize this headline to reveal something interesting about you or your expertise. And so I made my professional headline more interesting and compelling, which caused people to click through. And so my professional headline reads, the personal branding coach who can help you become a recognized expert in your industry. It's almost sort of like my elevator pitch. And so when people are searching through on LinkedIn and they come across my name, right di directly below my name, the first thing they're going to see is my professional headline. Now look at my professional headline and let's take a look at someone else's in comparison. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down on my LinkedIn profile and here on the right hand side you'll see that I have connections here. And the first person that we're going to look at is Christina Broadway. Now her LinkedIn profile and her professional headline is the default. It defaults to her current job title. So it says Christina Broadway IT business consultant at this Jervis Group LLC. Is that interesting? Is it compelling? Does it make you want to click through and find out a little bit more about Christina? Of course it doesn't. And so by editing your professional headline, you can create something more compelling that causes people to click through to look at your profile. Let's talk about how do we do that. The first thing that you'll have to do is log into your LinkedIn account. Once you log into your LinkedIn account, there's a tab at the top that says Profile. If you hover over Profile, you'll get a link, a, a link here that says Edit Profile. So we're going to click on Edit Profile. Once we click on Edit Profile, you will see that there is an Edit link here in the Professional Headline field. So I'm going to click on Edit. Once we click Edit, you will notice that I can customize my professional headline simply by typing whatever it is that I want to type here. So, let's do an elevator pitch here. I've done my elevator pitch and then I'm going to save my changes. And now when I view my profile, my profile says, Otis Collier, I help ordinary people become famous. I guarantee you that people will click through to find out more about Otis Collier when they see my professional headline. I've heard people say that too much of anything is not good for you, baby. But you know, there's one more thing I, I want to mention to you guys when you use Dogpile um, to search Google, Yahoo, Bing, and Ask. Uh, as you seasoned recruiters and seasoned sourcers know that there are certain search operators that are uh, that work only on certain search engines but do not work on other search engines for example um, this uh, this uh, search operator ext colon PDF uh, I will use that on Google to search for uh, documents that end in that are formatted in a PDF format um, if I were to go on, I don't know, uh, let's say Yahoo, 
then I would do origin URL oops extension I spell that right extend let's pretend I spelled that right <laughs> and that's how I would use Yahoo to find web documents that are formatted as a PDF and another thing and Bing has its own nuances and so does ask and so forth but since you're searching all four of these um, you have to use search operators that work on all four so uh, the different search commands you can use on dogpile to search all four uh, would be the entitle command such as entitle colon resumes uh, you can also use in URL uh, which is also a uh, something that works on all four of those search engines uh, the double quotes just type in software engineer because uh, the, the double putting something in quotes works on all four search engines and you can also do the minus sign minus your minus submit all this look familiar to you <laughs> minus apply and then um, you can also do a site command and say site colon uh, immerse dot com yeah and so you do a so let's look at this real game before we hit the search results um, I'm doing entitle command works on dogpile because it works on all four search engines and URL works on all four search engines the quotes work on all four search engines the minus sign works on all four search engines and the site command works on all four search engines so you got Google Yahoo Bing and ask using only entitle in URL the quotes the minus sign and the site command um, those are the different search operators you can use on dogpile to search Google Yahoo Bing and ask um, so just want to keep that in mind and I think I ran with that so let me just stick that on the screen there so hopefully that makes <laughs> oh, that makes a bit more sense alright now um, as I scroll through some of the results you will see that these are all from Emerse which is a uh, well they all should be from Emerse yeah yeah uh, this one here which is not from Emerse you'll see that it is a sponsored ad by Google this is also a sponsored ad so that's why it's not ending in Emerse but uh, a, res a search from a site search of Emerse search result uh, that is exclusive to Yahoo is this guy Craig Wood and here's another one that's exclusive to Yahoo and let's go through some more yeah wow Yahoo's really indexed Emerse it seems so uh, these are all search results that are exclusive to Yahoo and again if you search for other resumes make sure that you only use uh, these commands because they will work only um, because these commands will work on Google Yahoo Bing and Ask in title in URL the minus sign and of course the site command and here it is on the screen what I said rather succinctly and nicely because I feel like I'm rambling right now but I think you got the point so uh, if not uh, reach out to me alright guys that's it for this episode I'm going to uh, say bye bye as I read my magazine here you know, as I as I actually as I look through it, I'm always trying to find ways to improve improve myself. Um, so I'm looking at the um, my issue here, and I'm wondering if I added a centerfold in the middle, like in those other magazines, uh, would I attract more readers? And I'm imagining myself, huh, imagining myself as a uh, centerfold with a staple in my navel, and. Uh, don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs>